Welcome to the Grit, Grind, and Grace movement. My name is Tawanda Livingston, and I will be your shepherdess for your transformational journey. Grit, Grind, and Grace Activated is a book I author just for you. It is for people who are seeking inspiration, motivation, and more importantly, activation of their goals, passion, purposes, and possibilities. Grit, Grind, and Grace is a journey journal, uh, a user guide, if you will. And it's for people who are willing, ready to put their life in gear, to activate, to move differently and expect life to deliver on its promises. Um, and today, instead of sharing one of the Twanda-isms, what I'd like to share with you is a part of the afterglow section of the book. It's the last section of the book. And in there, I pen a letter to you. And um, I want to share that letter with you today on our Grit, Grind, and Grace movement moment. My dearest friend and source of my inspiration, I pray you have enjoyed this reading experience at this journey and this time we have shared together. I don't care how many books you read. There's only one book that has all the answers, my friend. It is the Bible. From the Bible to the best-selling book today, the answer to why you are failing or succeeding is the same. Why you are excelling or declining, why you are growing or dying, why you are progressing or regressing, why you are thriving or just surviving, the answer is the same. As you believe, it shall be. Here's the real Your mind is a trillion times more fertile than the healthiest earth. Whatever you plant, good or evil, positive or negative, and healthy or toxic, it will grow. That stinking thinking will derail your journey because no matter how hard you try to succeed, you will fail because you don't believe, don't have faith or hope. You have subconsciously and sometimes consciously planted self-defeating and self-sabotaging seeds that have overgrown in your mind, choking your dreams and divine planning. No matter what life throws at you, you were built for this time, reason, and season. A confluence of your purpose, passion, and possibilities is happening at this very moment. This convergence is pushing you to act now. Every moment you suffered, all the pain, all the loss, all the heartache, all the desperation, and all the stress will pay off today if you act. You, my friend, are self-made. You are a culmination of your choices thus far. And if you want to change your circumstances, make better choices, change your circle of influence and invest in you. You have put in the sweat in an emotional equity. Now, it is time to claim your return on investment. You have earned every blessing, every success, every moment of joy, happiness, and love. So claim it now. My friend, warrior champion, you have just finished yet another self-help, motivational, inspirational book, and yet and still, you have not activated the greatness in you. What is it going to take to push or pull you off of your mental lazy ass? What and who are you waiting for to come rescue you from yourself? My friend, let me tell you, I love you. Yep, I truly love you. If I didn't love you, I would have never shared my innermost thoughts, failures, and successes with you in this book. I am not talking about the warm, fuzzy love. I'm talking about agape, real love, the kind of love that calls you on your bullshit, the kind of love that keeps a roof over your head, food in your belly, and push you kicking and screaming into your endless seasons of prosperity, abundance, wealth, success, excellence, healing, building, positivity, faith, hope, and love. It's time to clean house. It's time to get your mental and, and your physical, for some of us, right, house in order. It's time for you to let go of all the people, places, and things that do not support your quantum leap into your divine purpose. 
It's time to serve eviction papers to toxic friends, thoughts, past, environments, and possessions. Stop trolling empty people, empty places, and empty posts, and start strolling into your continuous success. Unfortunately, my friend, no one can do the spade work for you. I can't lose the weight for you. I can't exercise for you. I can't go through the divorce for you. I can't take the test for you. I can't stop your stinking thinking. I can't stop the pain for you. I can't fight your internal battles for you. And similarly, I can't claim the blessings, wealth, testimony, prosperity, joy, hope, love, and successes that have been anointed and assigned to you. Only you can claim victory. My hope and deep burning desire for you is that you leave this earth empty of all your possibilities, talents, and greatness. My hope is that you break free from generational, mental, financial, depressing, uh, painful, and oppressive bondage. My hope is that you become a game changer, a way maker, a champion, a rainmaker, ambassador, a servant, and a messenger of hope, love, and faith. Pray with purpose, plan with purpose, act with purpose, and receive with purpose. To God be the glory. I pray God finds you where you need to be. Keep shining and showing up great. Many blessings to Wanda R. Livingston, activational coach, friend, and sister. And it simply states at the end, generational curses broken. Again, this last message in the book is a culmination of all the thoughts, poems, and ideas that are expressed through the book to help inspire you, motivate you, and more importantly, to activate you. So make sure you pick up your copy of Grit, Grind, and Grace Activated so you can make sure that is in your arsenal and that you not only Put it in your arsenal. Don't let it collect dust, but activate your dreams with it. Activate your purpose with it. Activate your possibilities with it so that you too can walk worthy, my friend.